Yeah. 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 Today I'm going to introduce my studio project, Paper Jewelry. And when you're looking at a piece of paper, can you think about it? Can we bring a piece of paper? Like this one. Research paper. <laughs> yeah. I hope not. Do not feel empty and troubled. <laughs> Even though research paper is so important in SAP, and I will talk about it later. And uh, when and how and what can a piece of paper change to a new form? And that's a big question. It's an interesting question, I think. And let our imagination take flight. We can make it, shape it, and like this. <laughs> you can maybe fold it and maybe cut it. And rip it. Oops. The first time I did this. <laughs> Row it. Maybe this one. And it creates a new form. Is it fantastic? <laughs> and I hope it brings some fun for you. And I think you can call it paper art. And in my research paper, I looked up some paper art in design. And paper art, as you know, is uh, some kind of like uh, uh, paper cutting and origami. And origami is a kind of Japanese paper art. Uh, like you can fold in a piece of paper into three-dimensional form. And they are integrated into contemporary design forms, uh, design fields like fashion design, industrial design, accessory design, jewelry design, architecture, graphic design. I think I talk about all the design fields. And when mm, designers think about the paper art, what they can think about it, and what do designer to integrate paper art into uh, you know, design field. This is my main question of my research paper. And from some case studies on fashion design and industrial design, which I have a great passion on it, and I found that many contemporary designers will uh, reinvigorate paper merging tradition and uh, innovation. And their brilliant idea are inspired by paper art in terms of materials, uh, form, function, and like the movement and memory. And um, some of their concepts are really inspired me in my jewelry design. And for example, recycling disposable paper increasing the strength of paper and exploring the you know the flexibility of paper and look at my design piece i really want to give a close up here and like uh, it's my paper jewelry and like the main this is my main object as you can see and it's made of uh, paper it's made of pleated paper and cardboard. And with the geometric form, it's light but strong, you know. <laughs> and combine this liver chain and it promotes the fashion sense. And actually my initial concept is paper, paper and paper. <laughs> no, make it deeper. Actually my concept is making people happy or even evoking their memory of their childhood through integrating geometric origami into paper jewelry. And, and I want to talk about uh, the form and uh, the form and the function and which is I'm really concentrating. For form, why did I choose this shape? It's a good question. Because <laughs> 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 personally, I think, um, uh, personally, I prefer some, you know, 
minimalist uh, aesthetic and uh, this geometric form is very popular in today's fashion world. And so I looked up some geometric, basic geometric origami uh, which is assembled by some modular pieces. And then I found the geometric form is the most abstract art expression which is more modern than other origami forms. And for the function, it has the property of you know, strength and flexibility. It's, it has a strong structure as you see. And you know, for the flexibility um, with these inserting pieces, you can just uh, create it by yourself or transform the geometric form by yourself. It's very simple and like the kid's toy. And it uh, presents the function of flexibility. And it also invokes us our memory of playing origami in our childhood. And by cutting this circle, there are some paper remained, like this, this paper. And I, by, when it comes to recycling, I use some this disposable paper to create some new designs like these jewelries and these rings. You know, by choosing the shape and cutting them down, and it gives them some good opportunities for new horizons in my design field. And as you can see, this ring is it's, it's just from I cut the here, just the red and the white here, and I roll it, roll it, and into this form, it create a new form, like a small flower. And I think it's simple, but a creative idea. <laughs> well, in my design process, when consulting with Taylor, she really gave me some inspiration, inspiration, and. She gave me some cool ideas for the shape, and which is more flexible and sophisticated. And I think if I have more time, I will use 3D modeling software to create some 3D shape, and then use another software to slice them into a two-dimensional form, and then use the paper cut to get the shape out. And, and Taylor also inspired me to think about the change of the form, and the flexibility and the possible or uh, the possibility of paper, and then I further studied on the you know the paper and the possibility of paper and the flexibility of the <coughs> paper, and then I used the Rhino as 3D software to make some shape, inspiring myself, and then I did some sketches, and after that I went shopping for the materials. At first, for my uh, first uh, initial concept, I, I knew I wanted something with some minimalist uh, aesthetic, so I chose some white, hard cardboard. And then I found it's very, it's too hard to cut. So I should research another, some other materials. And then I found this kind of pleated uh, paper. Mm. And at first, I think it gave me a sense of Asian culture. So I think maybe I can use it. How about glue it with some cardboard? And I think it's a cool idea. <laughs> and so I choose them. And there are many different kinds of patterns and colors with this pleated paper. And by choosing this you know, Chinese pattern in red, it's taking risks, but I think it's not something I can do well. And after that, I cut the shape and combine the pattern, and then it comes out. And I think some of the pattern and the colors also inspired me a lot. And that's how they come out. And I really hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Wow. Thank you.